Well, Monet gathers the family together. We got some fresh strawberries, some blueberries, some scrambled eggs with cheese. We got the OJ No Pope. We got some toast pre-buttered. Uh, I'm not sure what else we got in here, but ain't nothing like a good old breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal. It's one of the, the only things you can eat any time of the day. You can have breakfast for breakfast, breakfast for lunch, breakfast for brunch, breakfast for dinner, breakfast for even the late hours. Breakfast is an all-purpose meal. They say you should always eat breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Nothing's better than breakfast. But Monet says, I'm going to get all the kids together. Because one thing Monet is going to do, she's going to be a mother. She may not be the best mother, but she's going to be a mother. And she just wants a better life for her and the kids. And she knows that Diana is pregnant. But this is Drew's story. And everything we just said, he ain't trying to hear none of that. Because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, fuck Mo." Nay, Tejada. He don't care what Monet's talking about. He don't care what Kane's talking about. He don't care what Diana's talking about. He don't care what that baby is thinking or talking about. This nigga Drew wants to go off on Monet. Now, Kane shows up and he's dressing totally different. Noma already got him dressing like he's Drew. Kane came over here with the Drew outfit. The sleeves are too long. And his thumbs are going through like this. I don't know what this This is like emo dressing. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I don't know what's going on with Kane, man. He didn't got around no much. She didn't turn this young man out. Drew's looking like, nigga, is that my outfit? Kane's like, I ain't going to be over here. Plus, that baby's a bad decision. So Kane leaves and Drew's like, nah, 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 fuck that. She got to hear this shit, Diana. Monet, you are a piece of shit. I'm talking about a big, stinky pile of ish. You remember that Triceratops on Jurassic Park where they had to go into it and they had to dig around and see what it's been eating to figure out how sick it was? That's what Monet is in the eyes of Drew. They had to go into his stew to find out what it was. Jurassic Park, the first one, is my favorite movie of all time. Followed by Stand By Me. And then Lion King. And in that order. But Drew says, fuck that, Monet. You raised us to be pieces of shit. And now we smell like you. The shit don't fall too far from the ass. That's my saying. The ish don't fall too far from the ass. Now, they usually say the apple don't fall far from the tree. But no, Monet thought she was the shit. But she ain't. She ain't shit. She the ass. And these babies are the little shit droplets that she left. And this world has been stinking ever since these three have been born. It was four in total, but we got rid of one. We wiped him up and got him out of here. Put him down. Buried him, no longer around. We didn't lie. She lied. And Drew is telling Monet, listen, you fuck Zeke over. Look how Kane is dressing. Diana's pregnant by some low-life drug dealer, and I'm fucked up in the game. My eyes are bruised. I don't have a place to go. I don't want to be in the dope game. I was supposed to have an art expo when I was 11, but I called a body instead. Fuck you, Monet. Fuck you. Drew's like, I ain't dealing with none of this shit no more. My life ain't looking too healthy anyway. The longevity of me being around, it looks like it's going to be cut short. So Drew is going through it at this moment. I'm like, damn, I feel bad for Drew. I'm the only person that ever felt bad for Drew. So Drew, he leaves too. He's like, man, fuck this. I'm going to do my own thing. So Drew, in his off time, he goes to the art gallery. I don't know what this picture is called, but this is cool. But I'd rather have this picture right here, the one that says Negro on it. You see it says Negro right here? I like that picture right there. That's a nice painting. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Oh, they got their arms crossed. 
thought they were sitting on a bus. Were they supposed to be chained up or something? Can't really tell. Oh, then they got this. What is this? Kung Fu Kenny? What is this dude? Oh, he got a bag on. I thought he was like a jazz player or something. Yeah, I don't know what any of these pictures mean. Does anybody know what his artist is? Oh, I guess we can try to. Oh, we can't zoom in. That shit too blurry. But anyway, Drew's looking at this, and he's sitting like Forrest, Forrest Gump. Hi, my name is Forrest, Forrest Gump. My name is Forrest, too. Forrest, that's your son. And nigga Forrest like, what? So while Drew is looking at these pictures, these paintings, the colonizer says, I almost cried when I seen those two. Ma'am, cut the bullshit. You ain't cry when you seen those photos. You seen that art, you ain't cry. It's like, I almost cry. <laughs> this is too far, I haven't seen anything like it. So Drew's like, yeah, I'm kind of in art too. She's like, damn, you kind of fucked up. She's like, yeah. But what we do here, we help discover young artists. And then he ends up showing her, I think it was the photo that he drew of uh Ain't this the one he drew of uh what's the dude's name? Basketball player? This is Everett, ain't it? Of all the photos, he shows her the one he drew of Everett. Man, if you don't get Everett off your mind, bro. What up, Erica? Shout out to Erica Vane TV. The one that makes it all happen. If it wasn't for Erica, there would be no live right now. <laughs> Marie said neck at this. So she's looking at this artwork like, yeah, this is some raw talent. Paul's on the raw because you know what... <laughs> Yeah, we're not even about to talk about that. Yeah, this is some raw, unfiltered talent right here. I'm still getting teary-eyed from thinking about those paintings, man. My bad, y'all. It's just so touching, heartfelt. But Drew's like, oh, shit. Okay, I can get my work into an art gallery. This is what I always wanted. Remember, he had an art expo, but Monet slapped the hell out of him. <laughs> he went from... Using his hand to paint to goddamn using his hand to pull triggers. I'm talking about that's a damn. Whew. You talk about a promotion. This nigga saved Monet's life and Monet slapped him. I'm, I'm gonna note that. That's the last time I saved your ass, Monet. Then we got the Monet Made Mistakes, a.k.a. Monday Mistakes. This is where it all started, y'all. No customers. They were better off having Janet here. At least Janet would drink up some of the liquor. Nah, that, that was uh, Everett. He drew, he drew that up Everett when Everett was in the room. But Drew shows up. She's like, Drew, I want to talk to you. He said, listen, I don't want to fuck with you. I don't want to fuck with you. You little stupid ass. I don't fuck with you. You old dumb man. I ain't fucking with you. I got a million trillion things I'd rather fucking do than be fucking with you. You little... I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And Monet's like, no, 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 Drew, Drew, I apologize. You told me earlier if I couldn't hold myself accountable and own up to it, then you would never trust or believe in me. But I, 
I know I fucked up, Drew. It's me, Monet. Drew said, do you understand? I caught a fucking body at 11. I was supposed to be the nigga Picasso. I was supposed to be next up, man. They were calling me the next big thing. They said I was the LeBron James of painting. They said I was the reincarnation of Michael Jordan with a brush. But you, but you made me pick that gun up. You made me shoot that nigga. You made me go down the wrong path, and then you slapped the hell out of me. Now, I was fine with catching the body, but you just didn't let me get that hurt out, that emotion. Oh, my God. <laughs> it just brings flashbacks, Monet. If you wasn't my mom, I'd slap fire out of you. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? See, listen, Drew, I just need one more chance, Drew. Just let me in the game. You know all the routes that no one got. Just let us in the game. Drew said, you know what? I'm not going to cry, no, not this time. I'm not going to shed a tear. But I'll do this one time, Monet. But I need my cut and I'm out. You better not try to double cross me. I know all the paths that Noma has. You need me more than I need you. But just know I want my cut and I'm out. You funky. No. And if you can't understand that, Monet, then I don't want anything to do with you. Monet's like, oh, shit. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. We got one time, one time. Nigga, little hair. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Anthony Thompson, you my dog. You my dog. But remove that name from my name. Let's not let's not get disrespectful or carried away here. There's only one nigga little here. There's no hyphens. There's no extra names. Anthony. Delete that message, please. That name does not belong there. There's only one nigga little here. There's only one. There's not two. There's no extra names or anything. There's only one nigga little here. It showed the fuck ain't Drew. <laughs> so Drew's like, all right, one time. That's it. I want my cut, too. So she's like, all right, bet. Yeah, you know, ain't nobody about to slang dope one time. When have we ever, when have we ever seen a movie or something where someone makes one transaction? Like, you know what? I'm good. N no, it doesn't work that way. He talking about just enough so I can get on my feet. She going to say, you can come stay back at the house. Did you not hear me cuss you out all fucking episode, Monet? I don't want to stay at that damn house. Kane be showing up. Diana got a goddamn drug dealing baby daddy. She already going to be having trouble trying to go to school and watch the baby. I'm the only nigga without a job. Kane work for Noma full time. I ain't doing shit. Diana going to have that baby. Y'all going to be trying to have the baby come and hang out with me. I'm not watching that little motherfucker. You think I want to watch a kid named Lorenzo St. Patrick? Hell no. That sounds like the devil. Lorenzo St. Patrick. So we have a, a Hispanic first name and an Irish last name. And the, and the middle name is going to be a black name because we got to have we got to have something to throw it off. Lorenzo Tariq St. Patrick. Like, no, 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 no. Y'all not sticking me with the baby, especially if it ain't my baby. I used to have to watch my nephew. I, I, I would go to work eight hours and I go watch my nephews. God bless my sister. But I used to have to watch my nephews. I even told her, I was like, man, once they got older, I was like, man, I love y'all, but I hated going over there after where I got to work an eight hour shift. And I got to watch these little these little niggas. It's bad. My youngest nephew trying to get in the swimming pool in the back. They talking about, I got, can we go play outside? I got to make sure they doing their homework. I got to feed these niggas. Hell no, that's a lot of work. If they ain't your own kids, hell, I don't even have kids because I don't want to. Sometimes I wake up on the weekend and forget to feed myself. Man, that would be all kinds of neglect for a kid. The baby crying. I forgot the baby wanted to eat. Now I'm over. I got to wake up in the middle of the night because the baby want to eat. I got to get up and go to work. Hell no, I ain't watching that baby. Diana about to be at school, shaking ass, letting other niggas smash. 
Like, no, hell no. Diane will come home with another baby. No, I'm not watching these kids. This nigga Drew said, I want my own place, Monet. I know how this goes. I'm not about to be up in that crib all day for you to be yelling at me. Janet come and staying over at the house. She talking bullshit. Hell no. Monet, you slapped me after I killed a nigga. You think I want to? What if I forget to do the dishes one night? It's one cup in the sink. Monet going to come and slap you. Remember when Monet said, what are y'all doing? Y'all just sitting around the house. And she started yelling at them when she told them to come to the house. And they were waiting for her to come downstairs. She yelling, what are y'all doing here? Monet, you told us to come into the living room and we waited on you. So we started watching TV. Why are you yelling? At I'm not staying over here. Fuck that. Fuck that. You think I'm about to be babysitting a little month? Man, hell no. My sister used to call. Hey, Julius, what you doing this weekend? What am I doing this weekend? I ain't watching them boys. I'll tell you that. You better call mom. Drop them off at mama house. My, look, you drop the kids off at grandma house. Grandma ain't going to be able to do nothing. Don't, don't, I'm not watching them. Hell no. Them little niggas get hungry in the middle of the day. I'm not about to get up and cook nothing. I mean, I got to go spend some money. Oh, hell no. What you doing Saturday? Oh, shit. I'm busy. I'm going to be with the niggas. You know? I'm going to be on the block somewhere. You feel me? Hell no. Drew said, give me my own place. Drew trying to get into artwork. We over here. We wasting time because Monet over here bullshitting talking about you can come live back at the house. I'm not living over there. Did you just not see what happened at breakfast? We don't have a day of peace at this house. It was arguing. The last time we were there, it was arguing. Kane chased us out the Kane chased us out the house with a gun last time we was here, mama. They don't even call Monet Ma anymore. They all call her Monet. No, I'm not staying here. No. No. So, all right, one time, Drew, one time. She was like, all right, one time we gotta get us some some gangsters, though. We gotta see if some gangsters need a job. Where are these little knuckleheads at that they hire? I thought that oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, I know the kids gotta eat. That's the problem. I be forgetting to feed myself. Like yesterday when I came back, I came back yesterday. I got in probably about well, I got back in my town at about 8.30, and then I just went and picked up a pizza. Got me a little medium, you know what I'm saying? Got me some wings. I like, man, before I get, get back in that gym, I'm going to eat some bullshit. And I laid down on the couch. Man, I woke up today, like 11 o'clock. I probably ain't give me nothing to eat till probably like 12, 31 o'clock. If I got kids, them little niggas going to be up eating. Can we have some cereal? I'm like, man, and that's kids that are old enough to talk. Babies is different. Baby is crying. I couldn't just kick it on my day off. Hell no, nah, man. That's why I ain't got no kids, man. I'm selfish. I want myself to myself. Yeah. I don't care about no one else. Yeah. I'm selfish. <laughs> Forget to feed the kids, man. But anyway, they go hire these two niggas. We don't, we ain't never seen these two. We ain't never heard about these two. Hey, y'all want a job? Yeah. All right, bet. Look, we're going to go on the drop. I know where the drop is. Y'all just follow my lead. They go over here. They cutting up that good. Now, you would think. With just regular boxes of cocaine just in the back of the van, just riding around the city like fuck it. You would think they would have a lot more uh technology or something. They just riding around, they doing this cut in the wide open, they ain't in a warehouse, they ain't in nothing. Well, Drew and the, the Goonies, they come around the back. But the task force is here. Because Don Carter was sitting out front and he followed them over here. They get the bucket. Pow, pow. Ping, 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 ping. Over here, over here. Pow, pow. JJ, get the AO. JJ, get the AO. 
down. Pop, pop. Oh, shit, I'm hit. I'm hit. Me too. Me too. Ah. Monet hop out. Do, 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 do. I don't know why the fuck Monet wore this big ass mink, but she said, fuck it, nigga. We pulling up and popping out and showing niggas. Do, 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 do. She get to laying down the smackdown. But then the task force pulls a gun on him, tells Monet, put your gun down. Don goes over there, tells Drew and them, put the gun down. And then Don Carter begins to lay out the two guys that just got a job, the ones that people tried to tell me to put on the board. But no, we're not putting up randoms on the board. And Don tells him straight up, y'all going to work for me. I'm going to get 35% of everything y'all do. And as long as y'all don't involve civilians, we good to go. Do I make myself clear? Huh? Do I make myself clear? And Monet and Drew are like, golly, how did we end up into this shit? What the hell is going on on the sheets? In New York, Monet said, Don Carter, let me explain before you start to point your gun. Drew said, oh, it's about to be some shit. How did I get into this? I should have never trust this Monet, bitch. Then Don Carter said, you low down dirty drug dealers back to where you came from. 35 percent. I'm on y'all ass. Hit the streets. No civilians crashed. Monet said, no, no. He said, shut up. Can't you see Don is talking? But stop. I told your ass to get the slanging. Now Don Carter's looking at both of them like, I'm about to catch a case. Y'all are slanging drugs for Carter. Hit the block right now. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Y'all need to hit the block for Don Carter. What what, what Aubrey say? Shake that ass for Drake. Now shake that ass for me. (laughs) Hey, he told him 35% of everything, man. Jeez Louise. And we right at three hours, man. That's the Drew and Monet story. We'll finish up the rest. Uh, Thursday, we got us a couple of couple of weeks before we get back into the the nitty-gritty of things um i wish they wouldn't have broken up and just went along with the whole 